hello my loves welcome back to my channel kisses to you all i missed you so much thank you all so much for tuning in as you can see i cut my hair <laughs> i know we'll talk about that really soon but welcome i miss you all so much and i'm doing well at this point she decided to dance to calm the nerves Ladies and gents, I think we're good. So, what are we gonna do today? Let's think. We're gonna clean, that's for sure, and talk. So, come along and join me. Let's go. So, if I'm being completely honest, <laughs> I had already started cleaning and then um, I realized that I actually wanted to vlog today. So, I basically repeated everything once again. So, I'm here grabbing the rug and I'm gonna shake it up you know what i mean and just get all the dust and the fluff off and yeah after that i'm just going to um clean my couch sanitize it and vacuum it just so that it's super duper clean with covid these days you know you just want to make sure that everything is super duper tidy look at me look at me i'm really struggling i really hate stepping on little flakes of dirt on the floor so here I am sweeping. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, I hope you're Gucci. I hope you're good. And I know you will be after you finish watching this video. If this is your first time here, my name is Rufaro. I post a range of videos including fashion, beauty, makeup, lifestyle personal development grooming and i'm just starting a new journey here featuring cleaning homeware decor interior design which i absolutely love i'm sure you'll find something that you love there's a little bit for everybody here as i mentioned i had already started cleaning so i'm pretty much just repeating what i did just grabbing my vacuum cleaner and just vacuuming my couch then I'm going to return everything back into its place and go ahead and sanitize my couch using the microband spray, which is absolutely amazing. I highly recommend. And here we're out of focus, but it's all good. I'm going to show you the product I'm talking about right here, right now. Do give it a shot. I absolutely love it. Okay. So throughout this video, I'm going to be showing you guys all the cleaning products that I use. I'm also probably going to have them all linked in the description box. But um, I get all my toiletries and cleaning supplies from Walmart. I personally just think that um, it's extremely affordable. And I'm going to be getting a lot of items at a very um, low cost, which is really good for my personal financial healthy habits and goals and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much that. So as you can tell, I have moved into a new apartment all by myself. It's absolutely an amazing experience that I do wish for everyone. And if you ever get the opportunity, grab it by the horn and go for it. <laughs> I was about to say the wrong thing, but anyway. <laughs> Anywho, guys. I was really tired from this move you guys moving is actually a lot of work and whether you get movers to help you move or not you know you still have a lot of heavy lifting to do for yourself cleaning your old apartment packing purging you guys already know what goes into moving if you don't sis let me tell you it's a lot um, this is my second official move um, and I do have another vlog where I shared my move the first time and you can go check it out if you'd like but this time was intense baby like it was a lot of work okay my body was in pain honey i was tired and i was i experienced like minor anxiety and my mind was just tripping me up i was just getting so fearful for no reason but thankfully i spoke to my uncle about it and i got some peace and realized that it was literally all in my head and once it was done i was so happy i moved and 
I finally have my space, my own little home that I can call my own and make it a little comfy, cozy, welcoming place for any lucky person <laughs> who comes to visit me. So another reason why I was away for some time is because I was just really tired and I really needed to rest. Like I mentioned, I was moving and in the midst of me prepping for the move, I was also prepping for finals, writing exams. I mean, the day I moved into my apartment, I had an exam and you guys can only imagine. It really wore me out. I was just tired, but... um. You know this is part of adulting it's still a worthwhile experience one i do highly recommend and i'll definitely recommend you to be super organized you know during that experience of moving and just get your life together baby okay but um yeah i was definitely tired i needed a break and that's why i was away for some time but um i know my lovely subscribers understand and i'm so grateful for you all tuning in to the video today i'm really grateful thank you so much i love you all so much i really missed your comments in my comment section i always used to open my youtube studio app expecting comments and there was nothing and i'm like baby girl there's nothing because you're not posting anything so i'm back and i'm better better I want you better as ever. Don't let me just set up. I want to give you better. Baby, it's whatever. Somebody gotta step up. But I'm not somebody, so I'm next up. Be flop if I let him catch up. It's easy to see that you're fed up. I am on a whole nother level. Girl, he only messed you over because you let him. I guess he didn't know any better. Girl, that man didn't show any effort Do all I can just to show you you're special Lately you say he been killing the vibe Gotta be sick of this guy Pull up skirt, get in the right Left hand is staring, the other was gripping your thigh Na 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 Play this song for him, girl, just listen Don't, don't forget to sanitize your remote You feel me, sis, okay? <laughs> enough of being a silly billy but anyway um yeah um as you guys can tell i'm going to talk about it i'm sure we can all see it and that is my head <laughs> i cut my hair you guys i did it i went for it and i just said it's about time i do this um i've never been attached to my hair honestly speaking guys i actually think that my hair has just been a complete huh, journey of majority low moments, okay? So, I used to get my hair relaxed growing up and I experienced the worst chemical burn that resulted in me developing scalp psoriasis or scalp dermatitis and y'all, that is not fun, okay? So, in high school, I really struggled with my scalp. It will always just get flaky. But, um, you know, in regards to, like, the popular culture or, like, and the topic of our hair, um, a lot of black queens are obviously choosing to go for natural hair, which is cool. And I definitely jumped onto that bandwagon expecting myself to have a pineapple on my head. Did that happen for me? Unfortunately not, because I don't have 4C hair, right? My hair is super duper soft. So obviously that was disappointing and I actually just genuinely think that with regards to hair, you could be on extreme ends either way, whether you have relaxed hair or natural hair. Um, so yeah, eventually I just got to a point where I was like, you know, I'm just going to love my hair for what it is and I'm cool with it. But I've also really loved cutting my hair, like just also just having short hair. I think... Um, I personally feel more comfortable, more confident when I've got short hair. It's not necessarily for the low maintenance aspect of it. However, that is a bonus. I genuinely feel like I personally feel a lot better when I don't have hair on my head. And also, being in a 
in a society i suppose where being female or femininity is somewhat synonymous to hair um i feel like um in my personal development journey it was absolutely imperative for me to experience a phase in my life with no hair or just having short hair something that i'm not expected to have and just see what that would be like you know what i mean guys my knees were easing at this point but it is what it is okay clean house clean place okay baby but <laughs> with that being said i also really felt like um moving into this apartment exposed me because i got to see just how many products i have hair related whether it's for my wigs or for my natural hair i'm just like baby girl how much money do you really spend on hair and i just said you know what nah, uh, 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 i can't do this no more um summertime i think is the best time to cut your hair if you are gonna do that because at least your ears are not gonna be freezing <laughs> themselves off because the cold honey baby girl so yeah i did cut my hair off a whim i feel like personally i just prefer to have shorter hair i always have i've been cutting my hair since 2016 um in some moments it definitely had a bit more like emotional baggage attached to it but this time around it was very pure very clean i cut my hair simply because i wanted to so i hope you can all love me in this state if not baby girl <laughs> get out of here man but anyway this is me this is me and this is me hopefully you guys can accept it and if not it's cool baby girl it's cool it is what it is okay but yeah this is just my own personal self-acceptance journey um confidence building self-esteem and just a 20 something year old just being experimental with her hair i suppose and i'm gonna i'm gonna rock with it until until i feel like growing my hair back again As you can tell my house looks pretty naked <laughs> and that's because there's a bit of some furniture missing from the space of course but as a college student trying to be as um, financially responsible as I possibly can be I didn't feel it imperative for me to you know get all my furniture all at once I'm going to be buying things in increments honestly I think that makes more sense financially there's really absolutely no pressure so i'm excited to bring you guys along that journey of dressing my house and making it feel like a home and yeah doing the whole thing um always remember progress is always better and um not to you know overstretch yourself like take it easy baby girl <laughs> Yo, I promise you, I'm so happy when I'm cleaning, but look how serious that face is, baby girl. You're joking. Okay, loves, as you can see, we have finally transitioned into the kitchen, which is my favorite place to clean. Honestly, I love cleaning the kitchen. I love a clean kitchen. I think that is one of the most inviting places in a home. And um, speaking about favorites, we've reached the fav my personal favorite um, period of the year, which is the summertime, and I have started taking summer school. Um, so I, I think, you know, um, I really do want to strike a balance between, you know, getting my schoolwork done, professional work done, as well as, you know, entertainment work done as well, you know. I do believe that I can have the best of all worlds, YouTube, personal life, social life, spiritual life, physical life, mental, emotional life, you know. Um, just, you know, just be easy on myself, take it day by day and um do my best to make sure that when i go when i go to bed 
I have done everything that I absolutely could have done to live out my purpose. You know what I mean? Um, you guys know how much I feel about YouTube, how this is such an amazing platform for me. And I do absolutely feel blessed and grateful to have the responsibility of influence on this channel, you know. And whenever I come and I post my content and I deliver things to you guys, I want you to understand that it's not just for you know entertainment purposes only but it's also definitely for my personal journey um for me to look back at these videos and you know to see the growth and the improvement each and every step of the way and um you know i never really want to come to this channel and bleed to you guys because i think that would be irresponsible but the truth is you know i do experience some things in life unfortunately i think life is just life it happens to everyone but um i just want to encourage you all in this moment if you are going through something whatever it might be to show up for yourself each and every single day and most certainly especially when it's hard that's when you need yourself the most and um i do i do pray for peace in all your hearts um from the bottom of my heart because i understand you know like with covid you know this this pandemic thing you know 2020 and 2021 have been pretty interesting years for different people whether it's affected you directly or indirectly um, I'm sure it's hitting us all different in some way and um, I can only only pray and hope that you are doing okay and um, you know for the couple of minutes that you get to watch me on YouTube I hope I can um, offer some type of you know entertainment comic relief as well as you know help you see that I'm just as real and as human as you are and yeah To my Zimbabwean kings and queens, if you want to wash your pot, I highly recommend using these SOS pods. They will scrape that baby clean. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm. And as you are cleaning that pot, hey, that's all pressure. Put pressure. <laughs> 
I'm killing it today, bro. And I'm gonna quickly show you guys um, the final result. It's not perfect, but I think I I definitely clean a pot pretty well. <laughs> Look at that. Don't you dare. Guys, can you imagine I got those blue plates as well as my glasses from Walmart for 20 bucks. Check out the mainstay brand from Walmart, guys. Don't even play with it, okay? Save your coins, bargain shopping as a college student, baby. You can still have a fashionable house on a budget. Do you understand what I mean? Okay, bye. So going forward, I'm going to be posting more vlogs, um, more specifically on a Tuesday, just because I think Tuesday is a less saturated day um, compared to Sunday, which was my usual upload day. Um, I'm not going to commit to two uploads a week just because I do have school going on and I don't want to over stretch myself. Um, if you guys happen to receive two posts in one week, then aren't you lucky? Aren't you lucky? I'm so jelly. I wish I was my own subby. <laughs> That's so silly. But, um, I think vlogs are more entertaining. Um, it's also very more carefree, very chill, especially when you're tired of Netflix, Amazon Prime, which you should not ever sleep on because there's some really good shows over there. Okay. <laughs> like when you're tired of that like i just want to go to youtube and see whether my favorite youtubers have uploaded vlogs so i don't know if i am someone's favorite youtuber hopefully i can um satisfy your <laughs> entertainment cravings um by offering more vlogs for you guys vlogs are so so forgiving and so allowing i could literally just sit down put my camera in front of myself and start doing my makeup or start doing my hair or talking telling you guys a story i don't even know man but um i i feel like um you know my my structured sit down videos at times become a little bit too pedantic and you know when something is very very to the point in, in that way it can become extremely restricting so vlogs are a lot more free they're a lot more allowing and you know um when I initially started my YouTube channel back in 2015, I was just a vlogger, you know, straight up vlogging. And even if I was going to show you how I do my makeup, it was just going to be inserted within a vlog, which I personally think is a more um, chill and somewhat more entertaining way really to to do um, YouTube. So I want to see um, what it would be like if I, you know, go back to that and see what that journey is going to be like. And I think, you know, the summertime is also such a great time to be vlogging because um, there's usually a lot of things to do. Unfortunately, my city right now is in a three week lockdown. But um, 
you know it might be shut down but trust me my my brain is out there and she's working she's trying to figure things out trying to create trying to be positive trying to you know be expectant and you know be on the lookout for good things one of them being youtube um i'm so close to being monetized you guys <laughs> so close but still so far and i think you know my, my problem with not uploading as consistently has definitely affected um the the speed at which i was expecting that to happen but um you know that's not the goal of course not um i would rather produce um life-giving edifying and encouraging content for you guys before getting to that stage but um of course it would be nice if i can get you know rewarded in that in that sense for the effort and the work that i do put into my videos and i think i think that would be really nice so um pray for me you guys very soon we'll be having ads on my channel that would be really really nice <laughs> okay but um yeah um be on the lookout for more vlogs and tuesday is most certainly going to be an upload day going forward okay
We've reached the end, my loves. I hope you enjoyed. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will show you how I clean my washroom and my bedroom in the next Clean With Me video. Take care of yourselves, loves, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Mm.